season. Get back back in the swing of things and catching up with the lads. We've had about four or five weeks off and uh, as I said, we're having a good laugh. So the thing they want most is to get out there and start playing matches, isn't it really? Yeah, but we know it's some important to build up your fitness. Um, you can soon lose it. But, you know, hopefully, as I said, we've had about four or five weeks off. It's not been too long. And um, within a couple of weeks, hopefully, we should have that bit back. But as you said, hopefully, then the, we need that bit of match uh, fitness. We've seen changes with Jim Ryan and Mike Phil now involved with the first team in, in different capacities. Um, what changes have you seen with their involvement now? Well, there still are ideas because of the fact pre-season just involves a lot of running, you know, and travelling and, you know, the itinerary. Is a, there's a lot of pressure on the players regarding functions to do. Um, but there's plenty of training sessions. And of course, you know, we have a couple of games. But I think it's important regarding the new players to get to know the players and uh, the system, the way we play. And um, you know, I think they'll be looking forward to it. You made them fairly quickly, to be honest. But again, it's early days, you know, and uh, it's just been a lot of running, so there's not been much time for talking because we're, like, we're recovering after doing a bit of running. But no, they seem to have settled in pretty quickly. Obviously, Rude knew, knew if Yap anyway, and his English is quite good. And Wands, hopefully, his English will come on the next few weeks and months. But just by the first few training sessions, they look really good players, and that's the most important thing. And the games over there in the Far East, the fans over there are, of course, United crazy. And um, the games may even be like home games because of the number of United fans over there. Yeah, no doubt um, there's a lot of fans all over the world, especially in the Far East. So I think it's nice for the fans to get a chance to see the players. Uh, they wouldn't, the only chance they would get probably on the television. So from that point of view, it would be good for the fans. Are the players aware of just how big the global fan base is? Well, I think most of the players are, yeah, because um, you know we've been travelling every couple of years. We usually go in the Far East or Australia, whatever it might be. So yeah, I think most of the players will be aware, but you know, it'll be an eye-opener for the new players.